from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. I've been away since morning, walking and thinking. A long day for an old woman. I had cheeks like flowers. I could run all day long and never get tired. I wore gingham dresses, and I could skate like a boy. Because the weeks went by so fast, and so many Sundays, and Christmases, and Fourth of Julys, and suddenly, so many years are gone, finished so quickly. And you wake up after a fight with your daughter, and do something foolish. And there you are, mad and angry and foolish, and face to face with all the mistakes you ever made in all your whole long life. Where do you learn to live? How do you end what's ended, but forever and ever? How do you leave the house where you were married? My husband, Jimmy. We buried him a year ago in May, but he had died a long time before that. And maybe it was some of my fault. Three years since he was retired, a crane man in the ironworks over there. And all he did for three years was sit in that chair and beat himself at checkers. If only he'd taken a job, any job. But no, he wouldn't do anything. The radio broke and he let it go. He stopped reading the papers, and then he even stopped seeing the children. It got so I hated to see his face home all day long, sitting in that window all day long, 
If only I could move him out of that chair. Put a firecracker under it or something. Retired at 65, enjoying life, having a fine time, doing nothing, nothing. Oh, he knew it was coming, but he never got ready for it because he would never really believe it. Wonderful after that heat. I haven't even got my blankets put away yet, let alone rugs. <laughs> well, I'm doing a little bit each day. I can't do very much, but I can do just a little at a time. Oh, you do wonderfully. You've always been a good housekeeper. How's Dad um, today? He just sits up there. Let's I see. can't get him down. Are you playing checkers? He's playing checkers as usual. That's just about all he cares about, isn't it? Look, Grandma, yes. I found a bug. What, in my yard? She likes anything that's little. Bugs and all. How are you today? Well, I really came to tell you. I stopped to see the doctor on my way over. You did? Mm-hmm. What did he say? The best news I've had. I'm going to have another baby mother. Oh, I'm so glad. It's about time. I think so, too. <laughs> I haven't even phoned Jack yet. She came straight here. Me, too. Yes, too. Well, sweetie, you're still my baby, too. You know that, don't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we'll have a real baby in the house for you to be a mother, too. She's a yes. wonderful mother. I know she is. Mm -hmm. Jimmy. Emma's going to have a baby. Three years, three years ago, the day he really died. The day he went back and closed himself up in the crane. I'd like to know how he got up there. I'm not worrying how he got up there. Get him down. Oh, he's been up there two hours. I'll get him down. Promise him a job. Promise him anything. I'm not going to stand here and tell him any lies. Jimmy, I want you to come down. Silly Jimmy. Jimmy, don't be an old fool. They can't do any work with you up there. Jimmy, I haven't had any breakfast yet, and I'm not going to leave until you come down. Jimmy, you're just doing this to spite me. Jimmy, 
come down. Come down. in any way helped him, given him a reason to live, encouraged him to look beyond his job so he wasn't finished when the job was finished, showed him some sure proof that I loved him and thought him to be a man, with or without his job. Is there anything I could have done? possible to save him. Where do you learn to live when the whole world's shaking and changing around you and nothing's the way it was? Where do you learn to be old? Maybe you start with this, that you're alive, that every voice and every face and every second is precious, and nothing like it will ever happen again. I wanted to keep on living. I wanted more and more. And then Jimmy died, and I had nothing. Emma had her baby. So I said yes, I'd move in with them. So they gave me a room in the house, and I thought, now I'm settled. This is what I must do. Raise up my grandson and live in my daughter's family. Thank you. 
very wakeful. I think he's hungry. Well, I know he's hungry. I'm going to feed him. How's my boy, huh? He's not getting enough to eat. You know, he's a boy. And boys require more food than girls. Aren't you drinking too much? I drink hardly at all. I'm being very careful about it. You know, it gets in their milk. I think you should wean them. Put them on the bottle. Everybody's satisfied around here except you. The doctor's satisfied, the baby's satisfied, I'm satisfied. I suppose you'd like to feed him yourself. He's not satisfied. Please close the door, Molly. Have a drink, Grandma. I'm not your grandma. Well, what happened this time? Oh, nothing. Everything. I lost my temper. I suppose I shouldn't have. I can't help it. This time she thought I was starving the baby. Isn't that nice? Well, I wish we could get her out of here. Perhaps she can take a room somewhere. No. Why not? Because we just couldn't do that. That's why. Mother and Dad have been living by themselves for years, and they're a lot older than she is. And considering everything, they get along swell. Well, I know they get along, but they have each other. Besides, your father has his little workshop, and your mother putters around in their garden, plays bridge with her friends. I could just reason Well, you know what the real trouble is? She feels that she's not wanted here, that's all. I know she does, and it's so silly. We need her help. She gives it to us, but why can't she give it to us without eating us up alive?
Good morning. Good morning. Beautiful stockings, aren't they? Lovely shade, too, don't you think? Yes, they're lovely. Nice and sheer. This is your lucky day, all right. I'm putting them on sale. Three well, for two nineteen. They're beautiful. Like the shade? I see you're wearing dark blue. Perhaps you like a darker shade. What size do you wear? I don't think I'm interested in hose today. Have that a nice slip. No, thank you. You have a sign in the window. You're advertising for a salesperson. I thought maybe I could get the job. No, sorry. That's quite all right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I could have filled that job. But what would that prove to them or to me? That I was strong and useful? that I didn't need them, or just that I was angry and hurt and hadn't yet learned how to live with my children. How shall I go back to my family? What shall I say? How can I love them without hurting them? Because I need them. Because growing old is so much easier if someone loves and understands you. where you live can be a prison or a place of love. The room where you sleep can be a closet full of tears or a quiet bed and a window full of real voices. Hey, Grandma's got a new hat. Which can I have? Which do I deserve? Some of it depends on me, but some of it must depend on other people. Mother, I'm so glad you're back. I'm trying Alice's recipe, and I can't tell how it's coming out. I've looked at it about five times, and it doesn't look right to me. Will you look at it for me? Yes, I'll be right in. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.